For 40 years now, the Herbie Fund at the Hospital for Sick Children here in Toronto has helped children from around the world get the life-saving surgeries they need. And it's all because of your support of the Herbie Fund. Can you try to escape? <laughs> yes. Malik. Little Malik from Kenya was born with the upper bones in his head fused together. Going, this guy. Let's have a look at you. Hi. Wow. He's gorgeous. When he was born, you noticed that his head shape was like this? It was long like this, yeah. yes. In this situation, for most children, we would recommend uh, an operation to reshape the skull. Okay. okay. What we're looking at are the CT scan pictures. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's a ridge right there. Mm -hmm. So that is the premature fusion of that growth line that happened before he was born. And that's, instead of allowing the skull to grow side to side, it, is, it restricted the side to side growth so it, it became a longer in shape. Good boy! You know, he's already beautiful, right? Very handsome. We're gonna make him just a little bit more, okay? <laughs> Malik is just one of the many hundreds of children to get their life-saving surgeries at the Hospital for Sick Children here in Toronto through the Herbie Fund. And the common thread to all of their stories is the same thing. There was absolutely no hope of them getting the life-saving surgeries they needed in their home countries. I was worried what will happen one time. He might change, he'll stop walking, he might not be able to, to talk. You provided the answer. Your donations to the Herbie Fund made the journey to Toronto Sick Kids Hospital and the surgery a reality. Hey, mister. Good to see you today. <laughs> it's surgery day for Malik. So we're all set to go? Okay. So remember, um, just my part is to be involved in removing of the bone, and then Dr. Forrest will be involved in the reconstruction. Okay. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's an extremely complicated surgery, which means two of the best pediatric surgeons in the world will work together in the operating room. So young Malik is now sedated and fully under. He's been brought into the OR and now begins the process of this highly complex craniofacial surgery. It will last many hours. So what we want to do is we'd like to reshape the skull and we'll work on the back first, expand the skull, reshape it, and then we'll turn the patient over and then we'll do the front of the skull. So the reason we're doing this is to make space for the brain because the brain may be a little bit tight but also um, to make his head more balanced because he stands out in the crowd. Anybody looking at him can see that his head is a very unusual shape. And this can have a huge psychosocial impact on a child's well-being as they get older. You're in the covering of the brain, that's the dura. Yes. And there's big veins that travel in here. It's like the 401 meets the 427 over here. Now we're breathing a sigh of relief. We've got all the bone off. Yeah. There's no bleeding going on. Oh, it's good. You can't see me smiling, but I am behind the scenes. <laughs> I think we're very fortunate having the Herbie Fund at the Hospital for Sick Children. It really is a, a, a huge opportunity for children around the world to come and get treatment at a, a very high level with experienced teams uh, that can manage these complicated situations in ways that they would never have access to back where they came from. The surgery means an almost instant change in the shape of Malik's head. And then we catch up with Malik and mom Chantal a few weeks later, and the little guy is full of energy, despite everything he's been through. I doubt about it being like this round. I knew it's going to change, but not this. This is just great. Yeah. So everything's healed up really, really nicely. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. For us, and he's been a great patient. Yeah. Is it a boost for you when you see the outcome? And you know oh, I love it. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I love it. It's uh, it's the best part of the job, and uh, bye. being bye. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for making this possible for us and for many other families. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you'd like to help kids like the ones we've shown you this week, please go online and make a donation at herbiefund.com and make a world of difference.